Hey guys, so today we are going over the different ways to wire up the Valenti uh, third brake light uh, that replaces the factory reverse light. Uh, the first way here shown, uh, with that you have the V lit up and the middle triangle spot is also lit up. And when you step on the brakes, it flashes and goes solid. So stepping on the brakes, flashing. There are two other additional ways that you can wire this. And here is the second way you can wire it and that is where you separate the V light from the brake light. So now when your running lights are on only the V is lit up and when you step on your brakes you get the flashing and then a solid light. So it separates the V from that middle brake light area Okay, and the third way that you can set it up uh, again separates the V from the brake light. So now when your running lights are on, your V will be lit up. And now when you step on your brakes, it will just come on and turn back off, of course, as soon as you release. Um, so no strobing with this third method. You only have the brake that turns on when you're stepping on the brakes. You're going to need to take out uh, the screws located here. I'll have a picture in the description that uh, circles all of those. So when you remove the back rear cover, uh, you'll see the factory wiring just like this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be doing is unsoldering the green wire from the location right here. You can also cut the wire as well. I chose to completely remove the wire. And also unsolder the red wire. And we're going to get those ready to uh, attach together. Now with these I did choose to cut off the ends of the wires just to make the uh, end of the wire a little bit cleaner but I'm sure you could leave the soldering joint on there if you wanted to. As soon as that is done I then uh, stripped off end of the wire to make it easy to uh, get the two wires connected and go ahead and twist those together. Now once those are all soldered, or excuse me, once those are connected, then you can go ahead and solder that uh, connection. You can use either shrink wrap, uh, which I didn't have any unfortunately at the time, or electrical tape. Of course, just make sure you don't have any sharp edges on the soldering joint, and make sure you fully cover the wire with the either electrical tape or shrink wrap. Okay, so now that you've done that, your wiring should look pretty similar to this. Okay, now you're going to unsolder this orange wire and you're going to attach it to right here. Okay, and your wiring should look like this. Okay, now on to version 3 wiring. Of course, you have your red and green wire connected as shown before, and now you're moving the orange and the black wire to that center lead. Version 3 should now look just like this. Okay, now the trunk piece is popped out. You have access to the clip here. You can press down on the latch and release that. Now with the Valenti harness, there's black, blue, and teal. You will be removing the light blue wire from the very middle, right there. And the only wires you will need to tap into the tail light are the brake light and the running light. You can pull the light blue and the red wire out of the harness 
if you want, uh, or you can run extension wires over to your wire taps. If you have Valenti taillights, you will be tapping the blue wires together and the red wires together.